Teachers in Garfield Heights say they are prepared to strike if necessary. The school board and teachers union have been negotiating contracts for nearly five months. Besides, Catherine Ross explains the sticking points and why many families in the district are hoping for a quick resolution. Susan Hart says after teaching nearly three decades in Garfield Heights, she wouldn't want to do anything else. I'm a person who still gets to wake up in the morning and say, I want to go to my job. I love my job, even when it's hard. The middle school teacher says the Garfield Heights Teachers Association is hoping to prevent the job from getting harder. It's why on Friday, more than 200 members of the union voted unanimously to authorize a 10 day strike notice if they deem it necessary. The Teachers Association at the negotiating table still had not been heard about how important this stability is for our school district. The Teachers Association and School Board have been negotiating teacher contracts since late April. The contract expired in June and teachers started this school year without a new one. After close to five months of bargaining, teachers say the biggest sticking point is a lack of support staff. It's the stability of having substitute teachers. It's the stability of staff not having to spot sub subclasses and missing their actual class time and teaching. The school board didn't go on camera, but in a statement called the move to authorize a strike notice surprising and disappointing, saying it's willing to continue discussions for fair contracts. A district spokesperson tells News 5 the parties have reached tentative agreements on more than a dozen articles in the contract and the school board has compromised on several issues related to pay. Um, we are the lowest paid school district in Cuyahoga County. Some neighbors say they support the teachers' efforts to make improvements. It's something that attracts uh, people to move to our community if we have good, stable schools, and that starts with good teachers. Some parents tell us off camera they're hoping for a quick resolution to avoid a strike. It's something both the district and the teachers' association agree on. That we want to negotiate with them, and that's what we're hoping for and um, that we don't want to strike. The Teachers Association has agreed to bring in a federal mediator. It's still waiting on a response from the central office. In Garfield Heights, Catherine Ross, News 5. And the Teachers Association will meet Tuesday to discuss its next steps, including a timeline for when it could issue a 10-day strike notice.